Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's the North American premiere of the Personal Space Invading Championships. In the green corner, weighing in at 20 times his birth weight, it's party boy Ed Harris. His skills include perspicacity, doppelganging, and a very extensive vocabulary. In the red corner, weighing in at a post-Thanksgiving dinner 155 pounds, it's party animal Jeremy Harris. His skills include mouth breathing, nose breathing, and opposable thumbs. Ghosting is when competitors walk as close as they can behind passers-by. Longest ghost wins the round. Round 1. Ghosting. Well, it's a great day for ghosting in the nation's capital. Here comes Ed Harris to kick it off. Well, you have to admire target selection like this. Th That's right, Jim. Oh, when he's opened the mouth. Classic display of obnoxious ghosting behavior. He's called it. He's called it. Oh, that's it for the ghost, and it's going to be a tough one for Jeremy to answer. Now let's change the scene of the action as Jeremy warms himself up for the next round. And Jeremy Harris using a newspaper to cover his approach. Well, that's right, Jim, and his strategy seems to have paid off. He's on. He's on. He's engaged. Oh, a sudden turn, and that's all it takes. Jeremy Harris has lost this one. So it's one nothing for Ed Harris as we head into round two. Let's see what he can serve up. He spies out his target, and he's going for him. He's going for... Oh! Oh, and Ed Harris betrayed by his own excessive enthusiasm. <laughs> Round two, party boy ghosting. Party boy ghosting is exactly like ghosting, but with more party. And more boy, Jim. Here he goes, and Jeremy's engaged his target. Well, you have to admire his choice. This is a very technically demanding style of ghosting. Oh, something tells me this is going to be a big one. He's still on her, folks. Oh, not anymore. He's called it. Oh, what a fantastic performance. Haven't seen anything this great since the Australian Championships. Unbelievable. That's right, Jim. Now, to discuss tiebreaker strategy, it's veteran ghoster Mark Ying. Guys, you have to be very concerned about your displacement between you and your target. So this is the mathematical formula that you should be following, okay? So the integral of the displacement is equal to one half the square root of h to the derivative of dh. So then once you get this, you can get this, and this will be the optimum the ultimate displacement between you and your target. See if you get too close, you get too close, you're touching. You're touching. It's not good. Okay? So you have to maintain a good distance right here. So that is the big plan. Okay, guys? Okay, so when you select your target, you have to be very, very careful, okay? There's going to be no noise in this. This is a very restricted area. So that means you have to pick the right target. There's going to be obstacles. There's going to be distractions. You have to be able to stay on the ball, okay? Stay on the ball. Stay on the ball. Cash money in the bank. Cash money, cash, cash money, cash money. Cash in the bank. Ching, cha ching cha ching Ching, ching, you know? Like, ching, not not that kind of ching, but like... No, no, never, this. never. Right. Okay, stay on the ball. Stay okay, on the ball. Okay, off, off. The, ball's stay on the, ball. the ball's here. I'm on the ball. I'm okay, the ball. good, good. Okay, ready. We're ready. We're ready. Okay, we're ready. 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 Oh boy, you would not want to be Jeremy Harris right now. Let's see if Jeremy can bring it together in this final round. Oh, and he's picked his target. He's on, he's engaged, and he looks back. Oh, oh, rookie mistake from the veteran ghoster. He knows it, he knows it. He's not happy with that one, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh boy. boy, Jim, I hope that Good book guys. is about ghosting strategy because he needs a good refresher. Oh, he's found his next target. It's a pack of three, and this is an ambitious ghost. Oh, and he hits his foot, putting an end to what was a promising ghost. Oh, let's all hope that doesn't amount to an injury. Now let's see if Ed Harris can capitalize on this opportunity. And Ed Harris popping out of nowhere for this next ghost, Jim. That's right, Jim, and the target seems somewhat uncertain. Well, this may well play to his advantage, Jim. We'll see what it does to the walking speed of the target. Oh, and a fist pump. He knows this one's in the bag, Jim. Oh, and he wraps it up with a classy handshake with the target. What a fantastic performance, Jim.
Ed Harris has won the championship. As we expected, a fantastic ghosting championships. Back to you in the studio, Jim.